Okay, here's my tracker working uh, on the flight simulator that's on uh, the Eagle Tree program so that you can set everything up. Uh, it's in return to home mode right now, so basically it's just circling overhead. Uh, it's going out uh, about 1,200 feet and then coming back in um, from different angles over top. Uh, the tracker's tracking it perfectly according to the directions that it's the telemetry that I'm getting. Um, so basically right now it's going to probably be coming in right from the north. So the tracker's sensing, no it's actually northeast so it's it's bang on the money. Yeah, and it swings around. Uh, it's at 304 feet because that's uh, where the fail safe is set right now. If I give it some, if I take it off of uh, uh, return to home and fly it out, it's flying to the uh, west right now. The tracker's seeing that it's going out, so it's it's pointing down with the uh, uh, 12 dBi antenna. That's 345 feet. Uh, 4,000. We'll take it out to about 5,000 and let it come back. There are 50, 6,000 feet. I just put it into return to home. So the airplane should be making its turn. Uh, you probably can't see it on the screen, but it, it, is, it is there. Uh, and the airplane is actually, believe it or not, there, it's uh, getting ready for it to come in. The airplane, all of the flying surface, the airplane's sitting right here, all the flying surfaces are actually flying, uh, are moving as if that airplane is flying and doing uh, this, what the flight simulator is doing, showing me. Uh, it's a great setup program. Um, there, that's just going to fly over top, so, and it exits, swinging around to the south, and it's going to be probably coming in from the south or southwest, and flying over top again, because it, the programming, the way it's set up, it, uh, it circles, it does kind of figure eights, or and comes in across your your point until you're ready to pick it back up. But anyways, back to this. Uh, it's not. It's a nice system. It seems to work really well. Uh, it's not plug and play. You got to have a little bit of in ingenuity to you, I guess. Uh, follow the steps. Um, there's, it's not programming, it's just entering the right data, you know, um, doing a, uh, for the, the pan, uh, you know, it needs to know what north is and what, you know, uh, 90 degrees is and what 180 degrees. So you have to go through all of those steps and train it. And once it's trained, um, it looks like it's doing a good thing. So I'm going to take it out in the next day or two and fly it and see if that aerial is actually keeping up with my airplane. Uh, if it's not, I can increase the speed. I can speed it up or slow it down. Uh, I don't want to get it going too fast because it gets to be kind of violent. And anyways, that's my Eagle Tree Tracker, um, working on the Eagle Tree Flight Simulator, and everything seems to be working just great. That's it.